Hello everybody, it's Minty and Kelly, as, as Kelly, is, uh, <laughs> hey, let's face it, she is, she is my favorite character as a survivor, just unbelievable. Um, so yeah, uh, the leveling up system, I've done a video at the very, I think it was the second day of release of this game and um, I kind of babbled a lot you know and uh, I was too excited at that point you know of the game and kind of messed up my entire explanation so ignore this video uh, well the the previous video of leveling up because uh, this one I'll put in in better words <clears throat> so at the top right hand corner that is your player level uh, max player level as we know well, I've heard it is level 100. Uh, to get the trophy for Groovy, which is like max, reach max player level, is only 50. So I don't know why, but uh, you know, to reduce the grind, I guess. So once you hit level 50, you will get uh, the achievement, the uh, PlayStation trophy, Groovy. Uh, after that, when you reach level 100, I've, I've been told that uh, the spirit points, the spirit points are underneath your bar, the leveling bar, and uh, those spirit points will still be gathering. So you will still be able to collect spirit points, even though you hit 100 and you, know, you hit the cap, but the spirit points still go on just for your leveling up. And uh, let me show you how to use spirit points. You go on collections. You click uh, any character, for example. Okay, let's go on her. Amanda, for example. See, uh, these are the characters' levels. So, uh, you got uh, one, two, three, four. And go same for demon, but the demon has level 45 instead of level 25 all survivors get to level 25 and uh, each one is like basically power up so for example see ammo for days when activated this ability allows you to really fire up range weapons without expanding expending any ammunition so basically infinite ammo for a short period of time seven seconds uh, 90 second cooldown this one start with the match of the pistol. The pistol has a faster attack speed and deals increased health, balance bar, and dismemberment damage. So that's pretty strong. Uh, pistol in her hands is her main weapon. Uh, level 25 will give damage dealt by your range weapons increases with each consecutive hit. Oh, so if you continuously get multiple hits, you'll just destroy. I haven't reached it, so I'm going to try it out when I do. So to level up, as you see on the bottom, bottom right, uh, it says level 15. That's the this character's level at the moment. And you got skill points. So whenever you level up a character, uh, you get a skill point for each one. But, say for example, like me, I have 87,000 spirit points. You can... You can spend the spirit points on this character to get skill points. So you just hold a triangle, as you see, spends spirit points. So I just hold, see, it goes up, it uses your uh, your spirit points to, to level up your character and give you skill points. This way you get it faster. That's what I've been doing. I save up to like 100k, then I go on a character. I think it's like 150k, I think. Uh, my friend said it uh, costs if you would just go with 150k on a level 1 player on level 1 character you can literally get all the skill all the level 25 like immediately so uh, I'll still need to confirm that I think it is 150k spirit points by the way I forgot to mention for each level you gain on your on your actual player level you get 15,000 spirit points so uh, that is that is pretty pretty generous pretty decent but yeah it's fairly simple and uh, the skills you put in 
these are like perks basically to boost your character uh, staying power increases your max See, you can build the tree up as well on uh, what what style you want to play as like uh, one second for example on killer it's better like uh, level 45 necromancer there's there's uh, multiple different types so you get you get these categories so for each line it's different type of thing see health raised razor for basic units increases the maximum health for basic units so I got three this is my build I only lost maybe one game uh, in about 20 as this build it's pretty useful I got uh, health razor elite increases my uh, my elites maximum health I got obviously elites uh, balance bar so they don't wobble from every hit you know so they s they stay a bit more steady uh, these one I didn't I didn't really care for these ones I don't use the uh, seismic smash because it's he starts to sprint when you press square for seismic uh, for the for this ability on your elite boss when you take control of him he does this you press square and he does this sprint it takes ages for him to ready up the sprint and then he sprints and you have to time it you know to land the hit it's it's a hard one it does good damage but i don't necessarily use it you know because his basic basic hits are, are really good uh trident missile increases the de damage dealt by trident throw attacks you know so i built myself around my stability basically all my all my basics and elites are extremely stable they deal, you know, look at my basics as well, they, de they deal 15% damage more than they should on on the basic level, without any level ups. So everything, uh, my boss damage dealt as well, you know, so Evil Ash, when I release him, he, he's, he's just a menace. I release him when it's time to finish the game. Like, uh, I, do, I do most of the damage, I'll try and down one early with an elite. And then, as soon as they try and go for the revive, release Ash. It's a, it's game over. They will not have any chance. As soon as you release Ash, you release, you uh, resurrect, and then you power up the healths, you know, with, uh, with his with his abilities, and then you start smacking them around. There is no escape, none whatsoever. So yeah. That's how you spend. You can build your tree around any way possible, any way you want. There's other ways as well. You've got come back strong and resurrected skeletons, get max, you know, like the, this one's actually pretty good. I'd I done this line uh, last time and it, it was pretty good. As soon as you release Ash, you resurrect and my god, these resurrected skeletons are strong. It's, it's pretty good and they go berserk like on their own, like they attack because there's a... Where is it? There is... There's one that does... Skeletons attack more frequently, see? This one, with these as well, like, boosted up. Oh my lord. Like, they just... The AI just attacks like a mad... Like a mad demon. <laughs> Don't really need to possess any... Any of your, uh... Any of your little henchmen. So yeah, this is, uh, the basic thing. Uh, if you need uh, more advice, make, uh, and if I missed out on something and you're you're struggling to know uh, builds and stuff and level ups, uh, make sure to comment below. I'm happy to help. Uh, we can go into like a PlayStation chat or Discord chat, and I can explain to you uh, with ease. Uh, <coughs> yeah, missions. I explained that in my last video as well, which was briefly. It is worth doing, guys. Uh, I have videos on how to complete uh, how to complete the missions. They unlock the uh, multiple characters. You got Pablo to unlock. You got Lord Arthur. You know, you got cosmetics as well. It's it's worth it. It's hard, but it's worth it. And it's free stuff, man. Come on, can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah. Oh, and uh, patch notes yesterday. Uh, I'm gonna read out the patch notes for the update that happened yesterday to fix the bugs and some issues which is extremely fast I was expected it maybe next week you know something like that but no they just like with, without any notice like the game the update popped up 
while playing yesterday, just like, hey, there's an update for the game. Oh, okay. I checked Twitter. There was no tweets from Saber, nothing about an update. Or uh, an update to be on that day or a certain day, you know, like most do. It was a nice surprise. <laughs> I did not expect it. So uh, they've done a good job. Incredible job. And uh, yeah, I will read out the... I will read out the patch notes right now. So, the patch the patch notes are stability and quality of life. Implemented various fixes to combat cheats such as speed hacks, health regeneration, fake nicknames and character model changing. I didn't really notice those. Um, a larger anti-cheat update is also forthcoming and another update soon. That is incredible. It's great news. Addressed an exploit where players could cancel animations to perform actions faster than intended. Yeah, that was a <laughs> that was a big issue, and uh, they done it right. They done it real fast, real good. Improved server stability, various bug fixes and improvements. Very see, they need to put like examples of what what did they change? Various bugs and improvements because we're going in blind. The, the, the game does feel smooth now afterwards we played yesterday after that it was it was nice the uh, missions fixed crashing after closing the pause menu on find the way out of the pit objective in mission 5 I did not know that D didn't notice that uh, demon fixed loss of input bug when a possessed unit dies oh that was a rough one uh, survivors updated balancing to Cheryl's healing attributes uh, we don't it needs to be more specific on what because we couldn't really tell we tried it out we couldn't really tell what's been changed maybe it felt like maybe the speed of the heal like uh, how fast it was boosting others it looked slower so maybe that adjusted values to, oh sorry updated balancing to evil dead one ashes hel healing attributes didn't really do much because we had a, a random teammate that was uh, ed1 ash and my god, he was actually, he was healing the same what, the same way, by the looks of it. Adjusted values to Amanda's weapon master, pistol skill. Apparently, I think that was broken. Uh, fixed an issue causing loss of input when survivors are possessed by demon. Exit vehicles, or try to pick up full stacks of items. Huh, okay, I did not, did not know that. Fixed an issue that caused the survivor to be mortal at death or when using a healing item in the storm. Yeah, I've seen that happen. Good job. Uh, fixed an issue where survivors can deal 1 million damage to demon and deadites. Oh, my friend Broken Kamui had that. <laughs> he sent us a screenshot. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Unbelievable. And uh, miscellaneous. Fixed PlayStation 4 trophies, not synchronizing. Bingo. And I tried it. The one that was mainly broken was... Uh, the possessed survivor while kill a survivor while being possessed. So very good job, very good job.